In today's video, we're going to be talking about starting your own sewing school. You got to a point now being a fashion entrepreneur, a fashion designer with or without degrees, or a seamstress, or someone who loves sewing and wants to share that knowledge of the sewing skills to keep this industry alive and to generate a consistent monthly income, knowing what it is you're going to be getting every month, like a set income that you can plan your life a lot better because now you are creating a niche market that you can market to the right audience and capture the right people that want your services or your products. We are talking about you starting your own sewing business school, creating classes. Classes you're either doing from home or you're renting out a place to run the classes or you've built up a studio or turned in some rooms or a garage or an outlet of your building into an actual studio to teach your classes. If you like this kind of content, then please don't forget to press the subscribe button and share. I really want to grow to a thousand subscribers as quick as possible. Of other fashion entrepreneurs to coach you and to guide you to turn your business into an absolute success and also to elevate a lot faster, to become successful a lot quicker, to avoid all the mistakes and errors that we make when we start and we're not sure of what it is that we want. I wish I had me when I was 19 starting my business to guide me and to show me what to do and to get on the track finding my niche having the clarity and how to actually become more aware of myself of all those unlimiting beliefs that I had that were blocking me and holding me back how to kick them out of the way and just to be confident and just to kick ass and get your business started so if you love this kind of content please don't forget to share subscribe and yes Leave some comments in the comment section down below that I can engage with you. I love to talk to you and connect with you and hear what you have to say or ask. Hi, this is part two of the Starting Your Business series, especially for fashion entrepreneurs. So let's get started. Me being a fashion designer, entrepreneur, and really struggle to find good seamstresses that I could employ to help grow my business. And I saw the frustration that so many of the companies, of the manufacturing companies in my country at that time, the Chinese were bringing in a lot of their very cheap manufactured garments. So we were sort of stuck realizing that there are no more qualified seamstresses because a lot of the factories had closed down. That industry skill had just completely just went totally down. So now you have all these cheap garments, but a lot of people soon realize they don't want these cheap garments because after one or two washes, or one or two seasons, they just cannot wear it again. There are people that still want to have their clothes made. They want to have it designed, made for special functions. And also, if you are starting a business, an online collection, a collection that you're selling, or you're doing custom garments, you need to maybe have one or two seamstresses to help you grow your business so that you can actually take on more and also generate a more of an income into your business because you cannot do everything yourself. It's okay to start off with sewing yourself, but you'd need to employ a seamstress or two or to source it out. So I, so I decided as a fashion entrepreneur, I'm going to start teaching fashion designing students who don't know how to sew properly, as well as fashion entrepreneurs that don't have a degree, that want to learn how to sew, to start their own businesses, or to actually teach seamstresses how to sew, that they could be seamstresses and start their own business or to be employed in a business. So I started my fashion teaching classes many, many years ago. In my courses, I was teaching workshops on teaching fashion entrepreneurs with and without degrees, how to turn this into a business, also having the clarity of where it is they're going, how we actually refine and define exactly what it is that they wanted and help them to strategize to get an actual action planned in place of what it is they want, where they are right now to make it happen. If you haven't watched series one, I'll leave the link down below, a little picture at the end of the video that you can actually click on it and go back to series one to help you with the clarity section. Today's video is about turning sewing, a sewing school business into classes. So I was teaching fashion designing, pattern drafting, pattern grading, as well as only teaching sewing, as well as teaching three different levels of sewing. The one was for beginners, 
people that arrived there with the machine in the box they've never sewn before. They were so nervous as well as excited to start sewing. That was the level that I was teaching. My intermediate level classes where a lot of them said to me, oh no, I've been sewing for years. I don't need to start at the beginner's level. And they would walk in and we get them all set up. We get started. And very soon I could see that a lot of those intermediate levels they still don't know a lot. They haven't been taught properly. I actually need to put them back in the beginners to teach them all the basics. They can have a decent foundation of what it is they need to know, how to understand reading um, commercial patterns, how to measure yourself properly, how to lay the fabric, how to understand the grain lines, how to understand the grain lines in your pattern, how to pin, lay the fabric, cut, how to cut how to understand a tape measure, how to use your sewing machine correctly, and how, to, and how to sit properly when you're sewing, and how to stand correctly when you're cutting. So all these kind of things, I realized that I need to bring that all into my modules. And even when I was teaching advanced students, I would have three different individual classes, three individual courses set up for all three of them. Got all this put together, helping you to turn this into a business, to actually start up looking at your skills, your experiences, where it would suit you, for what area to start, what level to start, what kind of courses you want to do, as well as all the extra top ups. In other words, how can can you make more money besides just teaching the courses or set classes I put that all in together plus I've taken my modules and given it all to you which you can actually use as is or you can take it and take all the ideas of that mock-up and turn in your your expertise your skills and your experience your authentic self and bring it into your actual modules that you are going to be teaching your classes I have a complete action list of what the things that you're going to need how you deal with students, how to price, I've put that all in for you to actually teach. By teaching sewing classes, you know that you're going to have a more consistent income. If you want to turn this to online, that means you'd have to video everything. You would have to record and film every video that you're doing and you can put that online but this particular course is more for someone turning this into a tangible class, teaching students that come to you. We love <laughs> so keep watching every Friday I'll be popping up a video on these series of seven series of you starting up a fashion business for fashion entrepreneurs. I also have an affiliate partnership program that you could actually become a partner with me and you can affiliate some of the courses that I have as well as the patterns you can you can actually affiliate with me all you need to do is go to my website and register pop me an email and I'll come back to you of how you can get started as long as you have a website to actually become an affiliate that you can actually sell my patterns on your website and also, and generate another form of income you can use my patterns which have been tested tried and trusted fully graded that you can actually use in your sewing classes and I talk about them in the complete little course that I have compiled for you exactly what you could do for beginners for intermediate and advanced what particular patterns you can use how to go about it how to lay it out all the steps for you all you have to do is just follow the modules and you can actually turn it into a business as soon as you want to start your business Thank you for watching. This is Tanya Sutherland. I am your fashion entrepreneur coach, helping you to elevate your business, get clarity, to become unstuck and to step into your unlimitedness, if there's such a word, but you know what I mean.